channel if you are new here then i'm so happy to meet you it feels oh that was really hot all right put the coffee down Gemma. put the coffee down before i put my coffee down make sure you've got yourself a drink make sure you've got the snacks you're comfortable hello everyone i feel like i can finally talk now i don't have a coffee scolding my bare hands how is everyone i hope you are all good i hope you're all having a fab week as you guys will know if you watch the video, if you haven't, I'll put it somewhere up here. I went to Ikea last week and there was so much good stuff in there. Ikea for me is very, very hit and miss. I find they don't really change their stock that much. Um, but they've changed their stock. They've got so much like amazing new stuff. Spring, summer collection. Obviously, I've got a new house to kit out. If you haven't seen my new house tour, it went live yesterday. Anyway, enough rambling from me. Let's get straight into the haul. Okay, so the first thing I got from Ikea, can you guys make me a promise? And if you go to Ikea, can you please buy one of these? I promise you, it will change your actual life. Like, it will change your life. So you need one, and that is a triangle pillow. I think they're like a pregnancy pillow. And when I explained to Sophie why I wanted one, she thought I was batshit crazy, basically. But let me explain. So, they're like a V-shaped pillow, and they're huge. Now, when I sleep, this is gonna, unless you can relate to this, you're gonna think I'm an actual weirdo, and I don't even blame you for clicking off the video after I've said this, but if one person can relate to me, that's good. Anyway, when I sleep, I like to like, have the cover like in between my legs. I don't know why. Let me demonstrate. You can lay on it like this, and like cuddle it. So if you don't have anyone to cuddle at night, get yourself a triangle pillow. So I think the actual pillows were about 10 pounds and then the pillowcases were about seven pounds, roughly, not exactly. So I got two of these for the bed and I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking forward to getting into bed every single night since I bought these because I just know they give me the best night's sleep. If they're just, oh, they're just sent from the gods above and you need them in your life, okay? I think you promised me you will go to Ikea and get this cushion. Oh, Gemma, what, what are you doing? Bloody hell. Oh, God. Okay, that's actually too heavy to pick up. Um, one moment, please. Christ. Okay, so let's start with my favourite thing that I picked up from Ikea, which is... Now, this does come all separate. So, the vase itself was £10. And then, these little flowers. So, you get... Oh, oh bloody hell. So, you get that many in a bunch. And they were £2.50 each. Now, when this was scanned through, it did come out quite expensive. I think all of this together was around about, like, nearly £30. Um, but, that being said, I really, really love it. Obviously, the flowers need a little bit more arranging. But I've been looking for something for the dining room table for so long. And this just really, really goes. Like, it's all the colours I wanted. It's cream. It's white. It's really full. And it looks fab. I'm going to take a picture of it once it's on the table and pop it on the screen somewhere now so you can see what my vision kind of was. So whilst we're talking about the dining table, my kitchen is very much like a country style kitchen. Like it's wood and cream and kind of old style looking. So it was really hard to find something to go on the dining table that would really fit in with the kitchen. Obviously I was used to very neutral tones and greys and silvers and very like glam furniture, but now I feel like I've had to go with more like cozy, more chic kind of furniture. So, I'm obviously gonna have the flowers in the middle of the table and then to go either side, I picked up these little gold candlesticks. Let me get one out so you can see. I did think it was this way, but it's definitely this way. And then I just got some tall pillar candles to go in the middle. Now I love gold and cream and I just think like these either side of this are gonna look absolutely gorgeous. So again, cannot wait to put those on the table. Here I've got loads and loads of different candlesticks and also loads of different candles. If you go to Ikea and you don't stack up on candles, you're doing it all wrong. I find they last for ages, they smell incredible and again they're really really affordable these were four pounds each and then these candles were one pound 89 each and then the next thing i got was a table runner this was seven pounds ikea again i've got loads of table runners so it's just this cream color really really plain i think again it's gonna go beautifully on the table my cat is currently playing in my ikea bag and it's kind of distracting tilly next from ikea i got a naughty little cat 
didn't I? Why can't you just, ow, just sit nicely. So whilst in the candle department, I didn't actually go crazy, which is very rare for me. Usually I have a little bit of a meltdown and I pick up every single candle I possibly can. I'm very, very strict with myself and I feel like, well done, pat on the back Gemma, because that's rare. Basically, I just picked up two of my favourite candles. These are the ice cream flavoured... Oh my god, I feel like I've got cat hair all over my face and it's the itchiest thing. I want to scratch my eyeballs out. So if you don't know about the ice cream scented candles, then get to know they are in... Sane. I like to have kind of like little candles. I was literally about to say, I like to have little candles to light. Oh shit, Gemma. And next, I picked up these little tea lights. I'm always in need of tea lights, like if I'm using a wax burner or something like that. She got some more bloody candles, didn't she? There's me sat here saying, oh, I didn't get that many candles this time. Clearly, I'm a liar. So I picked up these like battery powered candles. I don't really know why. Why did I even get these? So this is what I mean. I go in Ikea, I pick up things that I l literally don't need or really want. Oh, I did pick them up for a reason. I'm not going insane. It's okay, everybody. It's okay. You don't need to put Gemma in a straight jacket. So I picked up these little tea light holders to go underneath my TV unit. So the reason I got the battery powered candles was because it's under a TV unit. I didn't really fancy setting my TV unit on fire, you know? So I thought if I get some battery powered ones, obviously they're not going to produce heat. So if you do buy these, don't forget to pick up some batteries to go with them because I nearly made the mistake of assuming that they've already got batteries in them. And of course, of course they don't have batteries in them. Do you remember as a kid you like, you would buy a toy and you'd get home and it would have no batteries and it would be like the most heartbreaking thing in the world? Well, I feel like that's how I would have felt when I came to light my fake candle. So again, in my house, I'm going for like more of like a gold, warm cream <laughs> type of theme that rhymes. Wow, what can I say? I'm a poet. These were four pounds each again, which I thought would just look so nice. They're simple and yeah, bloody love them. Next, picked up some tongs because I'm trying to think of something witty to say about my tongs but my brain just is not working today so i picked up some of these because i'm sick of trying to pick up my tender stem broccoli with my hands basically so next i got some new plates which i got far too excited about please someone pity me because that's quite quite a sad place to be to be honest so i picked up these gorgeous rectangle plates and they're in this really gorgeous like light gray I'm in love with these. Me and Sophie were saying in Ikea that I think the presentation of food is so important. How like pleasing to the eye is food gonna look on this plate? You could like lay it out in really neat like lines and that just satisfies me. It makes me very, very happy. So I picked up four of these. They were three pounds each, so that's 12 pounds. Does anyone else have like a favorite cup where a cup of tea just tastes so much better in that cup? Yeah, I just think these are really, really cute and I just basically enjoy drinking out of them. So they do have like more delicate ones. They've also got little espresso ones so if you did want a set or you did want like a different style you can get that as well next i picked up the cutest little mini plants i am obsessed with plants and faux flowers and everything like that i think it can really transform a room so these are for the bathroom my bathroom is very much like neutral black white with a touch of like greenery touch of greenery in there these are the cutest things ever these were one pound 29 each they had loads of different designs but i kind of like everything to be symmetrical so i got two of these i think that's like an, a fake aloe vera i'm not like great in the gardening department so i can't tell you exactly what plant that is but i got two of these like spikies we'll call them on the end and then i got this like flower looking one does it say what they are no and then oh my god are we at the end and then last but definitely not least i picked up this gorgeous throw as you can see it's like textured it looks almost like it's ruffled which i just thought was so different i think this is going to look gorgeous on my bed i don't know if you can see but my bedding is already like this so i thought this at the end of my bed is just going to look gorgeous this would also look amazing on a sofa as well and i'm really loving just like having a lot of white in my house at the moment i feel like especially as it's spring it just feels really fresh and really nice and i feel like when everything's white and fresh and like 
like clean my head just feels so much more clear if that makes any sense so yeah if you are looking to get a little bit more of like spring decor then ikea is definitely the place to go this was 15 pounds which i thought was amazing for a throw and it's actually really big as well i'm really happy that i've now done this haul so i can actually go and style all the things i've bought instead of them just sitting in a bag so we have reached the end of my ikea haul thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed it on sunday's video we have got a clothing haul now i actually looked back at my videos and i haven't done a clothing haul this year which is actually makes me really sad like i'm like Gemma, are you all right like are you actually okay because i used to do like monthly pretty little thing hauls i used to do so many clothing hauls so they are coming back to my channel and i promise that i will have at least one or two clothing videos a month thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on sunday's video i love you all so much bye you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who you